Hello Capricorn, I hope that you're doing well. We are here with your reading for the beginning of June. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. We're starting off with a judgment card. You may feel the need to look into something. You may feel the need to analyze something. It seems like um, checking in with yourself and asking yourself if something that you're participating in is really bringing a sense of fulfillment or if it's time to move on. I'm seeing that's what this is connected to. Judgment card means like actually taking the time to sit down and analyze like do I feel happy here? Do I not feel happy here? Is it my time to leave? Is this thing not something that I'm meant to be doing anymore? Is this still working for me? It's a reevaluating. That's going to give you the answer and clarity that you're looking for, but you're going to have to do the work to look into this. Because I'm seeing if you're just moving automatically, this may not come to your realization, but I'm seeing like as soon as you mentally engage in this, you're going to have clarity, you're going to have the answer. As to what you want to be a part of and what's ready for you to walk away from. I get this feeling of you could be still doing something where when you check in, you're like, that's not fulfilling to me anymore. And so it's time to walk away. At one point in time, this could have done something for you and you liked it, but now it's not resonating any longer. So again, looking into this, it's going to give you the answer that you want. This can be a general sense or it can be something particular within your life. You're thinking about leaving. It seems like you're setting things up to be doing that, but you may not like be at the point where you're some other things need to fall into place still. But you're considering if you have not already investing in investing elsewhere slash in something else. Ooh, a new a new path of yours. I'm seeing something look appealing and exciting to you that is not what you're doing right now. Part of the reason why you may not have made this move yet is because there's going to be some sort of like pain involved that seems unavoidable because it seems like something else is calling to you at this point, but I was seeing the Three of Swords, which means in order for you to really go towards this thing that is now speaking to you, that is calling to you, you may have to like break some hearts in order to do this. So this means like you're going to experience pain or somebody else might or other people. But I'm seeing this just be a necessary part. And it seems like you really analyzing whether or not you will feel fulfilled staying. This is a moment where your guides are like, do you want to stay in this situation and then look back and be like, I regret staying. I regret not moving on. I regret staying in a place where I felt unfulfilled. This is a moment where you have the ability to make sure that doesn't happen. But I'm seeing, this is definitely being emphasized. Listen, if you do not take the time to look into this and reflect on it and analyze it and open it up, you're going to keep doing what you're doing and it's almost like being in automatic mode. Unless you take the time you personally, to actively look into this and evaluate it, you are not going to have clarity and you're not going to have the right answer. And you're just going to feel like something is wrong or awry or missing or just not right and still not be able to figure out why. So that's why this is so important that you take this time right now to look into something and analyze it and evaluate it. 
That's what's going to help you have the clarity that you're looking for. See, this moment of epiphany is absolutely something that you can obtain, but it's going to take you looking into something. So this is you making the effort to bring your mental energy into a direction and look at it. Because if you're not looking too hard, you may just gloss this over. But you're still going to feel it energetically. You're going to feel unhappy or you're going to feel unsatisfied or unsettled. Because it really does seem like you're continuing to do something that's like really not, not doing it for you any longer. It's not it for you. So open yourself up and get curious to looking around. It seems like needing to refresh yourself and re refresh. It's almost like um, being able to look at something with new eyes or with fresh eyes, with a fresh perspective. So yeah, researching, looking around. You're going to feel so empowered when you leave this situation. It's because in your heart you know that it's not for you anymore. But there may be like so many reasons, especially emotionally, why you're staying doing what you're doing. This is your moment to shine. This is your moment to take action. I see you want to invest in something where you feel like you have more independence, more autonomy, more control. Um, you may be like flexing your leadership skills or just feel like you have more of an ability to do what you want to do. Like more freedom, it seems. Where you would be in a role where you feel like you're given sort of the respect that you want. Where you're being treated like a person that is capable and you get to make decisions on your own terms. That's what I'm seeing the desire before. Like, that's what you want to invest in. That would be like an empowering investment of yours. Something that you get to navigate. Where you get to be in charge. There's this part of you that's like doubting your abilities, but I'm not seeing there be... A lack of ability, it's more so you just not really trusting yourself. It's almost like your guides are communicating and telling you if something's calling for you to go in that direction, but it's almost like you don't trust it or you don't trust that it's going to work out or you're like, is this the real deal? I'm seeing that it is, but you doubt that. But you're being guided to look into that. Like, why is that? What's up? These are times right now where you're learning through analyzing and reflecting and looking into what brings you a sense of empowerment and what motivates you. And I'm seeing that you're not at a place where you fully embrace your power. And I don't mean that as a slight or anything. It's more so like there's so much that you're capable of and I'm also seeing so much doubt, which... It doesn't really track because I'm seeing you be very capable here. However, in your head, you may not be seeing yourself as such. But it's because of staying in situations that disempower you. So that's why this is so important because by ma making an empowering move here, moving out of a situation that you know, know is no longer resonating for you, that's an empowering move. And it's helping you invest in you doing something where you have more control and it's more on your terms. And it's also something that you're interested in. Even if you have doubts about how this is going to work out, I'm seeing something actually will. You just need to make the moves, the right moves accordingly. It's like this. How are you going to feel empowered if you're not making empowering moves? If you want to be empowered, you have to make the empowering moves, which means listening to what your intuition and your emotions are telling you by reflecting on them and recognizing them and then following suit. So it just seems like you have a lot to think about right now. Um, but if I can leave you with any piece of advice, it's definitely to trust yourself and your capabilities. 
especially as like a powerful force where you know what you're doing, you're ready to get things done, you're ready, you're ready. We're just looking at Pluto and Venus here. To have Pluto and Venus, there can be a change or a transformation or an evolution when it comes to what you're connected with, what you're attracted to, where you want to be. What type of relationships suit you as well? Because it looks like you're growing into something else here. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.